So today we are uh, finally getting to the body panels for the FD, the white FD, the Dream FD V2. You'll notice the only annoying thing about this is there's chip guard on these car stock. Just like a goddamn Miata and we didn't chip guard the side skirts, but the black car you don't notice because it's black. This car, I'm scared you might notice. Uh, we have the rear spats, we have the side skirts, and my favorite that just came in, we've got the Ganadors, which I had an argument, not an argument, I had a conversation with somebody recently about Ganadors. They're not for every car. I know it's like the new YouTube wave, but they're really just not for every car. They look great on FDs. They look killer on the 33. They're pretty good on the Supra. I don't like them on 32s. 34s, they're all right. Um, the NSX, they look really good. So basically, they're for every car. But uh, I don't like them on like 180s and Sylvia's. I don't like them on those cars. For some reason, that kit looks massive. Uh, the, the mirror base goes onto the body too much. On darker colors, it's okay. Lighter colors, I don't like it. But anyway, every car in this shop right here will, at the end of today, have Ganondors on it. And I'm not upset about it. So, installing the side skirts, we learned a lot from the, 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 the Dream FDV1, and we're gonna apply that to this car. One of the biggest things is applying the adhesion promoter to both sides of the tape. Because on this car, when it got washed at Adams, some of the tape got disrupted. You'll notice this sticks out a little and drives me insane. Just needs a, a pin on this end, which we're gonna do on this car. Need to drill a small hole and put like a push clip somewhere through here. And we'll do that after everything's mounted. We'll pull the wheel and do it that way. But I'm excited. Uh, the boys are getting the pieces. We're gonna start getting them all under the heat lamp. And then Josh is gonna start drilling the holes, marking, and you're gonna see all that go down. Unfortunately, it's raining out, so I didn't want to just like take the FD off the lift, pull it outside, do a 360, put it back and left. It's kind of a lot of a lot of work. Plus, with the rain, it would make it more difficult to apply the sticker or the double-sided tape and the adhesion promoter, and I don't want to risk that. So, unfortunately for you guys, you're just gonna have to use your imagination on what it looked like before. But let's get into this shit. All right, so in the clips you just saw, the side skirts and the Ganadors are installed, but the spats were not. We had to bring it over here to install the spats, and they just complete the side skirt look. This thing looks, well, exactly how I pictured it look, fucking awesome. Um, I really do like it a lot. I like it more than the black. It, it just has a different presence in white. The black is awesome, don't get me wrong, but 
The black car sat out here for about 45 minutes the other day after I washed it. And when it came out, you could see a fine layer of pollen and dirt on it. Like it was filthy already. And it just really set me off and made me realize how little I'm interested in having a black car. This thing looks so good. The Ganadors I bought from Yahoo Auction Japan and they came in white, already paint matched. They got some smudges on them from install, but uh, they match really good. Side, skirts mat side skirt match is really good. And the headlight match, I mean, it was all painted at the same time. The bumper actually matches the least out of everything. I would assume it's been painted at one point in its life and I will probably replace it to get rid of all the, the holes in the front and make it perfect. But this car is turning out so good. The only thing left to do is get the Regas powder coated in the same white somehow or as close as we can get and put them on the car because this thing with white Regas, oh, it'll look good. I'll show you once Josh gets that last piece in. We'll drop it down, we'll do a walk around. And uh, I didn't mention this, but I am keeping the Regas from the black car. I'm keeping the seats from the black car. Those are two items that I just, I cannot replace. You can't find the Regas. The seats went up to 15 grand. When I bought them, they were like 3,800 bucks, I think, or $3,200. So the game has changed. The only imperfection on this whole car that really irks me, someone snapped the antenna off. I don't listen to the radio anyway. Good morning from the R33. Saturday, it's like 65 degrees, it's beautiful out. And I'm headed to Greenwich for the Concourse d'Elegance. Uh, Radwood. I don't give a fuck about all that other shit at Greenwich. I'm going for Radwood. We're going to see what's there. Uh, and then I got to head to Lime Rock, which is the opposite direction. Whatever. It's a good driving day. Get excited. I've got to stop in Bedford Hills, fill this thing up with the 85. Because tomorrow is a Northeast Skyline meet in New Jersey. The one we went to with the GTST and hated almost every car there. I'm going back, bringing the 33 and uh, flex a little bit. Anyway, we got like an hour ride. I gotta get E, half a tank, E-Life. Two cars ahead is a Dodge Viper. Should we see what this thing can do against a Dodge Viper? I think we should see what we can do against a Dodge Viper. If he gives me the time of the day, we'll find out. All right, we made it in there's some real dick bag music, but I bought a car, I already knew it was coming, and I want to film it and share it with you. Look at this, fuck. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? How you doing? Bill already broke down. Uh, <laughs> what could possibly go the wrong? The, the audio here is crazy. I have to make sure you say far yeah. to the other show field. Hey. I was gonna say, don't what up? Into the Thanks, man. Alex brought out the Evo, the real Evo. Has a good chance. I was surprised it's the only one here. Honestly. How? How? What's the gas mileage on this thing? Like twelve? Less. Really? <laughs> you always have terrible gas mileage vehicles. <laughs> My car's here. I'll trade them for the thirty-three. Thirty-three in the lot. I see this car everywhere, actually. That's those. You don't? That's not on my back. I don't hate them. These look like the wheels that are on that Pagani. Where's his real plate? That's weird. <laughs> Alright boys, just left Radwood. Super cool. It's in Connecticut, so I felt like I had to go. Um, I'm gonna be honest, the one at large is way better. I went to it three years ago with the 32. Sick event. This one attached to the concourse, not that into it. I don't I don't love it. It's cool seeing the F40s and the Carrera GTs and stuff, but it's really hard uh, to maneuver and I don't know. It's in the wet grass. Anyway, Bill's up at Lime Rock, so I'm going to rip from Greenwich to Lime Rock, which is about an hour and 25 minutes, and then I'm going to head home. I love these. One of the very few unmuffled days here at Lime Rock. Bill was in the pit, so I didn't film anything, but I'm headed back to the shop. We got a special car rolling up that I wanna I wanna check out and uh, I don't know, it's kind of a lazy, lazy day. 
Look at this guy, he's not in anyone's way. He doesn't even know I'm back here. Look at him. Oh, he realized I should have passed him. Should I fucking hit limiter? Look at him trying to wave me on. Uh, fucking, I'm not driving in the dirt. This guy. Anyway, 33's done like 200 miles today, flawlessly, but it's eating up E85 like you wouldn't believe. I, I'm getting like 16 miles per gallon, which is, I mean, it's good. It's great. I'm getting 25 kilometers a gallon. Uh, but it's just so hard to get, and I have to go to the Northeast Skyline meet tomorrow. I hope I'll be able to make it. Dang, this looks good. Sunday, 6.30 a.m. I'm about to wash the 33 and head down to Princeton, New Jersey. If you're in the area and this video goes up in time, we'll be at the Northeast Skyline meet. I don't think we'll be there very long, but I will be there. Two and a half hour ride on the 85 with no stations in sight, so that's super fun. But uh, the Skyline meet, you gotta go to a Skyline meet. Anyway, this thing got filthy yesterday, so I'm gonna wash it and end this video. We'll see you guys tomorrow, and it'll be what we do today, which is going to the Northeast Skyline meet and cruising around the 33. Stay tuned for that. It should be pretty cool. We're going to judge a bunch of builds. We're going to be assholes like I was last time. It, the last time is really the reason when I, really the moment I realized we could have a Skyline restoration shop. If you remember back, I think we drove the GTST. There was just hella junk car. So we'll see if it improved. Three years later, two years later, whatever it is. I think it's two. And uh, anyway, stay tuned for that video. See you guys tomorrow. I gotta wash this thing and get the fuck out of here.